Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is shortest path in directed acyclic graph. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. So what does question say? Given a directed acyclic graph of n vertices from 0 to n minus 1 and a 2D integer array or vector ages of length m. Okay, first of all, let us decode this much part. What does it say? It says that we have a graph which is directed and it is a cyclic and it has n nodes which are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 which means the numbers of the nodes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to n minus 1. What does directed graph mean? It means that it means that suppose there is an edge between i and j it, it will also have a direction. So this edge says that I can go from i to j but cannot go from j to y based on this edge. Okay. What does a cyclic mean? There will be no cycles in the graph. Okay. So this is what is given in the first line. And a 2D integer array or vector ages of length m where there is a directed edge from edge i0 to edge i1 with a distance of edge i2 for all i. Okay. Now, we have got the nodes, there are n number of vertices. Now, to denote the edges, they have used a 2D array uh, of length m, which means there are m number of edges. And how it is used to denote the edges? The number of columns are 3. The first value in a particular row denotes the source node for that edge, where there is a directed edge from this particular uh, node to this particular node. So, the first element in a particular row will denote the source of that edge. This will denote the uh, destination of that edge. And the third element in that row will denote the weight or the distance of that edge. Okay. So, for example, so what they have said is we have a 2D array edge of length m. So, there will be m number of columns denoting m edges and there are uh, sorry m number of rows denoting m edges and there will be three columns so suppose in the ith row there are elements i1 i2 and i3 so what does this denote this denotes that there is an edge directed edge from i1 to i2 and the weight of this edge is i3 okay in this way they have denoted the m number of edges find the shortest path from source 0 vertex to all the vertices and if it is impossible to reach any vertex then return minus 1 for that vertex. What they have said that we have to consider source vertex as vertex number 0 and starting from the source uh, vertex we have to find the shortest path to all the other vertices which means that vertex number uh, for vertex number 1 to n minus 1. And in case if it is impossible to reach to a particular vertex from the source vertex that is 0, we have to print minus 1 for that vertex. And in other cases, we have to print the minimum distance. Okay. For example, here we also have an example uh, where the number of nodes are 4, number of edges are 2, and the edges are from 0 to 1, we have an edge whose distance is 2. From 0 to 2, Two, we have a edge whose distance is 1 and there are 4 vertexes so 0, 1, 2 and 3. For 3 it is independent it is not connected right. So the shortest distance from source to source that is it will be 0. Here it is 0 from 0 to 1 it is 2 from year to year these are directed vertexes. So this is 2 from 0 to 2 is 1 so it is 1 and we cannot reach 3 so it is minus 1 okay. And here is the explanation, here is another example, okay. So we have to complete the given function and here the expected time complexity is big of, it should be n into m and not n plus m, okay. Where n is the number of nodes and n m is the number of edges and expected time, time complex, space complexity is big of n and the constraints are given, okay. So we have got the question. Now let's move on to the concept part. See, understand what we have been given here is a directed acyclic graph and 0 is the source vertex. From source, we want to find the minimum distance to all the other vertices, right? Now, for that, first of all, the edges are weighted, okay? They are not uh, non weighted or equal. In that case, we would have used breadth for such to find. 
but in this case since the edges are weighted we need to find, use a special uh, shortest path algorithm here the expected time complexity is n into m and the value of n and m are also small they are uh, less than equal to 100 right n comma m are less than equal to 100 and expected time complexity is n into m so what we can do here is we can use bellman ford algorithm to find the it is used to find the shortest path from source to all other vertices and its time complexity is also n into m right so we can use bellman ford algorithm just to quickly describe what I, what does bellman ford algorithm do it is based on relaxation principle so we uh, relax all the m edges n minus 1 number of times right so at each step we will keep getting better and better uh, path from the source to other vertices and after n minus 1 loops we will get the optimum uh, distance that is the shortest distance from source to all the other vertices why we need to run the loop for n minus 1 times because it is based on the concept that the shortest path in a graph of n vertices cannot have more than n minus 1 inches okay so it is based on that so now if we talk about the implementation part then how it is implemented this is the function we are given we are given information about the number of nodes number of edges and the information about the edges in the form of a 2d vector and we have to return a vector which has the information about shortest path from source to all other vertices so first of all i have declared a vector which will denote the shortest path from source to all other vertices which i am going to return from this function uh, and initially i have pushed in zero because from source to source the distance will be zero <clears throat> then for all the elements from i to n minus one i have pushed in 10 key power 8 ideally it should be infinite but uh, of course we can't store infinite here i have taken 10 key power 8 make sure when you push in this type of values it does not overflow so here it is an integer vector and this comes under the range of integers otherwise it will give you garbage value then i have called the bellman ford algorithm passing in the required details if we look at the bellman ford algorithm what does it do it relaxes the m number of ages so this is the for loop which relaxes the ages how many times n minus one times because any shortest path in a graph of n vertices cannot have more than n minus one ages okay so for that reason what does relaxing mean first of all this distance uh, array what does it this denote distance of i will denote the shortest path from source that is 0 to i right so what does uh, relaxing an age mean it means that suppose i write distance of i plus weight is less is less than distance of j then distance of j is equals to distance of i plus weight so basically what we are doing is suppose from i to j there is a directed edge right and the weight of with this edge is w t then we are saying that the distance from source to i plus this weight if it is less than distance from source to j then the new shortest path till j would be uh, shortest path till i plus that weight okay and that we do on all the edges here we have edges in the form of here we have uh, source and destination vertex of a particular edge in this form so we have used that array right edges of j comma 2 will denote what weight this is the source vertex and this is the destination vertex so in this way it will so in this way it will relax all the edges and slow, uh, after, after each step we will have the better shortest path from source to a particular node and after running this for n minus 1 times we have the optimal solution we will also dry run it on a small example and understand how it works okay so if we just uh, have a dry run on this example then here is a graph which uh, there are four nodes 0 1 2 and 3 and there are edges which uh, along with the weights and direction they are shown here right they will be represented in the 2d array in this format so initially the distance uh, vector would be 0 infinite infinite and infinite what will happen after first for loop in the first for loop we will uh, relax all these edges right so in the first 
think what it will do is distance of 0 plus so this is the source this is the weight of the h1 is less than distance of 1 yes it is true because distance of 1 is infinite then distance of 1 will be replaced by distance of 0 plus 1 which is 0 plus 1 which is 1 so what i'll get here is this will remain 0 this will become 1 now distance till 1 that is 1 plus the weight of the h that is 3 so 1 plus 3 is 4 is less than distance of 3 yes 4 is less than infinite so this will be replaced by 4 right now the third h distance of 1 plus 1 is less than distance of 2 distance of 1 is 1 plus 1 that is 2 is less than infinite yes so this will be replaced by 2 then distance of 2 plus 1 is less than distance of 3 distance of 2 is how much 2 plus 1 is less than distance of 3 is how much 4 yes so distance of 3 will be replaced by this so this now will become 3 here in this case we got the optimum distance see for 0 it is 0 for 1 it is 1 for 2 it is 2 and for 3 it is 3 for 3 it will go from 0 to 1 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 we got the optimum or the minimum distance in the first loop itself but in the worst case after running the loop for n minus 1 times you will get the minimum distance uh, for all the uh, nodes in the graph now let us run this and we have solved this problem successfully what will be the time complexity time complexity would be big o of n into m you can see here there is a for loop of n size and inside it we are running a for loop of m size so it will be big o of n into m and what would be the space complexity it would be big o of n because we have taken a distance vector extra of size n i hope you understood this solution completely thank you